Delays, cancel flights, staff shortages, waiting lists, the new norm now in private jet travel. As I said, it's October, Halloween month. Horror of horrors, Robert Frank. These people, I mean, they, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much money you have. They have the same problems as, as, as us. Yeah, they do. And this is now a big industry problem, Joe. A record number of travelers are now flying private. You combine that with supply chain and labor issues, and you have growing delays, cancellations, and a lack of available flights. July was the busiest month ever in private jets with over 300,000 flights. And normally, business would taper off in the fall, but September and October are now also set to surpass those records. There are waiting lists for new planes. Inventory of used private jets is at an all-time low. There is a pilot shortage. There is a crew shortage. There is a part shortage, even a private jet tire shortage. NetJets and Sentin Jet have both now suspended jet card sales. NetJets also pausing sales of light jet cards, fractional sales, and leases. The company saying demand is the highest in its 57-year history and is, quote, taxing the air travel infrastructure in ways we haven't seen for years. Now, wheels up saying it is uniquely positioned for this capacity shortage because it has a diversified fleet. But rising costs and the concerns over margins are one reason that that stock is down by nearly half since July. Meanwhile, shares of Bombardier, they make the Challenger and the Global. Those have more than quadrupled this year. So lots of losers here and some winners for investors. Joe? That's, that's pretty interesting there and, and wheels up. that they, they have a lot of those turboprops. But the turboprops per hour uh, that are still... It's a big number, Robert, to go anywhere unless you're going, you know, unless you're flying for like five minutes. It comes a pretty big number. Usually it's yeah, a couple I mean, of hours. A lot of these people, like you, like you said at the top, these are people that paid, in some cases, for the Jets, $5,000 an hour to fly private to avoid right. cancellations and, so who and delays. That? And somewhere between, t somewhere between 10 and 15,000 people started flying private during the pandemic that had okay. never flown private before. And the industry just wasn't ready for it, especially with these supply well, chain issues. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.